Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of Movie Monster. As you will remember, I have made a pilot episode and it's been there on YouTube for nearly one week, I guess, and hopefully you like it. And today we are making the first episode. I'm really enjoying the, doing these videos. Hopefully uh, you will like them all as I do. <laughs> You'll enjoy them all as I do. Okay, so today I have six movies for you guys and let's start let's make it fast okay here we go this is the first one late paces mm, this is a werewolf movie i really like werewolf movies you know uh and look at this guy this guy is a very old man actually he was a veteran uh, soldier and he he fought in the Vietnam War and uh, now somehow uh, he is blind and his uh, son is bringing him to a village. So that village will be his new home. He will stay there. It's kind of boring place, but there are a lot of old people there. Uh, so he can make some friends there. And But the thing is, there is a werewolf in the village and who is the werewolf? It is killing people and in this movie we are trying to figure it out. Who is the werewolf? Oh my goodness. Look, this is a classic story actually, a classic uh, werewolf movie. Uh, and it's not a high budget movie actually and it's kind of slow. But if you like this kind of movies, I believe you need to have this in your collection because somehow it's really charming. But uh, I'm not uh, uh, recommending this movie to the general audience. If you are a movie monster like me, I believe you need to give a chance to this one. It is not high budget, but it's charming. And the werewolves are not 3D animation. It's all old school uh, uh, visual effects so the werewolves look like they're actually scary uh, if they have made this movie in 80s that will be so scary for people right now maybe it's not scary for me or for the movie monsters like you guys who are watching this uh, video but it is still cool I really recommend uh, recommend this uh, this uh, movie to the Movie monsters, but not to the general audience. So, this is the first movie of first episode. Late Paces, the werewolf movie. All right. Look, now I have a Western movie for you guys. A Western, but what's going on here? Again, a werewolf here, a blood moon, and a cowboy. This is crazy. I mean, who did this movie? Let me see. Jeremy Wooding. Jeremy, seriously, man, you're crazy. I mean, this is a very brave project. This is not a high budget movie as well. And um, the story is simply a fight between uh, the cowboys and the werewolves. I mean, who makes this kind of movie? Jeremy makes this kind of movies. <laughs> this is crazy. This is a very brave idea. And they did a great job here, actually. Uh, I mean, the story is good. And the cover art is very cool. I mean, Western and werewolves. I, I don't want to tell anything about the story. Uh, you're going to see it when you're watching it. But this is, as I said, a brave project, interesting project, low budget project. I wish they have a high budget. I wish this is a, this was a Hollywood movie. Uh, by the way, this is from England. Uh, I guess Jeremy is English too. Mm. Yeah, they, they did a good job actually here. Uh, if uh, this is also not for the general audience. If uh, people watch this in the cinema, maybe they'll get bored of this. But uh, for the P 
people who likes this kind of horror movies, this might be interesting because it's a horror movie. Also, it's a Western movie. <laughs> I don't know if there's another example like this out there, but <laughs> this is the first one that I have ever seen. Uh, so, okay. Blood Moon, Werewolves versus Cowboys. This is a crazy idea and this is a brave project. Congratulations, Jeremy. I really like it and I really like to have uh, in my collection and I will treasure it forever. Okay, so that was the second movie for the Moral Monster first episode. And here we go. I have a Saturday morning movie for you guys here. This is Axel. Look, this is not like Axel Rose, okay? It's not a name. So uh, you see this blanks here. This is A, X, L is for something, which is, okay, I'll check it out here. A is for attack. Axel stands for exploration. And L stands for logistic. So what is Axel? Axel is this guy, <laughs> this robot, robot uh, dog. So this is a mil military project, okay? And they have created this robot for wars. And somehow it's ex escaping from the facility, the military facility, and becomes friends with this handsome young man, okay? And who's this girl? Uh, in the movie, in time, she will become his girlfriend. Okay. Oh my God, this is a spoiler. I'm sorry, but okay. Uh, this is this movie is more than that actually, so it won't be a very big spoiler for you guys. Okay. Uh, but excuse me anyway. All right. So they are becoming friends, and military in the military base there are two engineers, I guess, who have created who who were in this project, working in this project. And they are watching what's happening from the camera, which is in the eye of this robot dog. And one of them says, look, are you crazy? Just call him back. And the other one is, wait, I want to see what he's going to do when he is with a civilian. So how are going to act? And the other says, oh, this is dangerous. It might kill people. But the other one is so brave and says, please, let's watch and see what will happen. And they are watching the whole situation. I won't tell you what's happening in the movie, surely. Uh, this is a beautiful Saturday morning movie, actually. If I, if I have seen this when I was a child, which is not possible because I was a child in the 80s, they, they couldn't make this kind of uh, movies in the 80s because this kind of project needs a lot of 3D animation, computer effects. Uh, anyways, I'm watching it now and I'm still enjoying it a lot, just like a child. So uh, I believe all of you guys are going to like this, uh, children and also adults and everyone. Every, for, this is for general audience, I mean, okay? Uh, this is parental guidance, actually. Maybe not for the children who are seven years old, but I don't think they will be afraid because they're watching a lot of stuff on internet. But anyways... They put the sticker here. Maybe we need to respect on that because they're doing it for a reason. Okay. So this is not for very little children, but this is for kind of general audience. Okay. A Saturday morning movie. And it is, there are a lot of fun and action in this movie. So I recommend this movie. Excel. What was that? Attack, exploration, logistics. All right. There we go. The third one is gone. Mmm, it's going fast, isn't it? So, the fourth movie is Exorcist, the beginning. It is from, where is it? 2004. This is surely a horror movie. And actually, this is uh, the story connected to the Exorcist movie. Sure, surely it is. I mean... Exorcist, the beginning. So this is telling the story, what just happened before the Exorcist movie, okay? And probably most of you guys know the Exorcist movie. It was a terrifying, 
horror movie. And look, uh, when we say horror movie, when do you say scary? I mean, what could be scary? I believe these days, in the modern days, what could be scary? I think the unknown could be scary, you know? The things that we can explain, we can understand. It is scary. So there are a lot of stuff like that in this movie because uh, when you have kind of contact with the creatures, some living things from other dimensions, that is scary. Okay, it is unknown. So uh, I don't know if you have seen the classic uh, Exorcist movie, but uh, there, there was a priest there and he was taking the evil souls out from people's bodies, okay? <laughs> that, that is the simple explanation, I guess. So he was, he is doing some kind of rituals, um, religious rituals, and taking the evil souls out of the bodies of people. Okay, so this movie tells the story of pri that priest. I mean, it is like, what was he doing when he was a young man? Okay, because he's old in the Exorcist movie. And this Exorcist, the beginning, it is the beginning. So he, it is telling his story. Where was he? What, how, what was he doing when he was a young man? Uh, so, look, this is really a terrifying movie. Uh, I like it a lot. And I really like to have this in my collection. If you are in... Um, horror movies, I believe you're going to like this. And my recommendation will be, uh, please watch the first Exorcist movie if you have never seen it before. Uh, you haven't seen it before, sorry. Uh, so, and then watch this. That will be fun, I guess. All right. So this is the fourth recommendation of the uh, first episode of the movie monster I won't tell anything more about the movie simply it is the story of that priest okay so I don't want to give you spoilers that's it exorcist the beginning 2004 okay hmm Adrian Brody I like this guy because He's same age with me, <laughs> you know? Uh, I like the people who are uh, same generation with me. So we are the same age. I guess he's maybe six months older than me. Anyways, we are the same generation. And I'm so proud of him that he had a lot of success in uh, movies. So this is an Australian movie, Backtrack. What's the year? Backtrack is from 2015. And look, the thing is, this movie is full of surprises. So anything that I will tell you about the movie will be a spoiler. But I was thinking about that. How can I explain this movie without spoilers? So I'll just give you some tiny details about the movie, which won't be spoiler about the exact story, I believe. So this guy, I forgot his name uh, in the movie. But it's Adrian, anyway. Uh, he is a doctor, psychologist. And he has patients. He is talking to them. However, uh, he has mental issues too. So, his patients have mental issues. He's got mental issues. I don't know if the uh, team that... Uh, sh shooting this video if they are all right doing fine <laughs> if there are other crazy people out there <laughs> while they're shooting this movie but uh, anyways this movie is uh, full of a lot of a lot of uh, people with mental issues okay this guy is a psychologist he has uh, I just wanted to say customer it's not customer of course it's uh, Anyways, look, uh, I won't give you spoilers. Uh, just watch this. It is full of surprises, so I won't. I don't want to give you spoilers about that. Uh, as, as I said, it's an Australian movie. Uh, this is for, not for the general audience. Okay, it has M here. Uh, 
supernatural themes and coarse language. Okay, mm, fair enough. Uh, don't watch it with the children, okay? It's kind of scary also. Okay, so backtrack. This is my recommendation. There we go. Now we're going to talk about the movie, which is my <laughs> favorite these days, actually. Uh, this one is Australian movie too. The Loved Ones. <laughs> this movie is really crazy. Look, this is uh, a horror movie. Also, it's thriller. And also, it's a crime movie. Okay. I don't know how can I make it without spoilers, but look. This girl, all right? Uh, she is low, in love with this young girl person okay and one day she says uh yes she says uh gently could you please invite me to the prom and this guy directly says no because he has a girlfriend uh, but the thing is this girl has mental issues and you can't simply say no to the <laughs> person with mental issues and you'll be in trouble by the way look about this mental issues guys i want to share my experience uh, i'm working as a social worker and i believe 95 percent of population uh, they aren't aware of uh, this people with mental issues so sometimes I'm see seeing some uh, videos on YouTube or Facebook or social media, okay? And some people are making some trouble in uh, shopping centers uh, and places like that, okay? In the community, they're making some troubles in the community. And for example, uh, you're waiting on the line to pay for your shopping and something is happening, a trouble is happening there on the line and everyone's start, everyone is starting to shoot a video what's going on there because someone, a person, any person is making a trouble there and security, security guys are coming and they're trying to talk to him or her and I see a lot of hate comments under the, this kind of videos. Look, uh, please listen to this uh, carefully. Uh, when you see this kind of people, be sure that they have mental issues. Uh, probably most of this, so all the social workers can detect this kind of people when they see one. Uh, there is nothing to hate about them. Uh, if someone is acting uh, abnormal, uh, mostly they have mental issues that that's why they're doing that and you can't deal acting normal with these people so my advice is when you see a person who's making a trouble in a community just walk away and don't hate them because they're not making it on purpose okay so what i'm telling is not about this movie but when it is mental issues, I'm really sensitive about that. So I just want to give you a little information about that. So please don't hate this kind of people. Just walk away. Be a soldier. What does it mean to be a soldier? Uh, the first thing that they are teaching soldiers is uh, stay away from the trouble. Okay. So that's why I'm telling you, be a soldier. All right. Okay. What did I tell you about the movie? Okay. This girl has mental issues, surely. So she had kind of addiction to this guy. And when he says no, uh, at that point, movie starts actually. He's getting a lot of trouble. So I won't tell you anything more about this, but there are a lot of horror material here in this movie. I was kind of scared, scared when I'm watching this because 
it is very dangerous. It becomes sometimes very dangerous when you deal with this kind of people. And this lady is acting it very well, so professionally. I don't know if she had any contact with some people who has mental illness. I don't know if she saw any person like that, but she's really acting it so good. Okay, and that, that's why uh, that 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 makes this movie so cool actually so uh, you might believe that she really has some mental issues when you're watching her okay so yeah that's it this is the loud ones it's here it says drama i don't know if you can see it but drama there is a sticker here uh, why it has a sticker because this was a rental dvd uh, it's no more. I just bought it from an op shop, and, but it was clean one, so that's why I just grabbed it. And it's kind of rare, actually. I I have seen the Blu-ray version on eBay, and it was really expensive. But anyways, movie is a movie. I have the DVD version, so right now that will be enough for me. If I see the Blu-ray version, I'll buy that one too because. This is a cult horror movie, Australian movie. And if you are in horror movies, you should see this. This is not high budget, but it's not also a low budget. I believe they had enough money to create this kind of a movie and they have done a perfect job. And these guys are playing their roles in a perfect way. So <laughs> look at him. He is really, really in trouble. What were you thinking when? Why did you say no to her? She got illness. Come on. Anyways, okay. <laughs> so, this is the last uh, recommendation for you guys. Uh, I hope you like them all. I hope you're going to try them all. If you have seen some of them or all of them, maybe you can give another chance if uh, you might, uh, you may uh, see them again. Uh, so, it's all about being a movie monster. If we watch the movies just one time, we can't be a monster, you know? All right. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, we shall see each other again in the second episode of Movie Monster.